Welcome to the enchanting world of the Ice Festival, where laughter and light weave a vibrant tapestry in the heart of the town square. Here, amidst the scent of roasted chestnuts and the sweet notes of cinnamon, the air is alive with the magic of winter. Each ice sculpture stands as a crystalline testament to the town's rich history, glimmering under the soft glow of lanterns. Join us as we delve into the story of Clara, a young girl standing at the edge of this wondrous celebration, her heart a tumultuous sea of emotions. This is a tale of discovery, courage, and the power of art to connect us all. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of the Ice Festival. As the Ice Festival unfurled its vibrant tapestry, Clara stood at the edge of the town square, her heart a tumultuous sea of emotions. The air was thick with the scent of roasted chestnuts and the sweet notes of cinnamon wafting from the nearby stalls. Yet Clara felt a chill that seeped deeper than the winter's grasp. Each ice sculpture, a crystalline testament to the town's history, glimmered under the soft glow of lanterns, whispering secrets that only the brave dared to uncover. Finn, with his spiky blonde hair and mischievous grin, bounded beside Clara, his bright blue eyes sparkling with excitement. Look at that one, he exclaimed, pointing to a sculpture of a majestic stag, its antlers stretching towards the heavens, capturing the essence of freedom. Clara forced a smile, but her thoughts were elsewhere, tangled in the shadows of her mother's legacy and the weight of expectations that pressed down upon her. The laughter of children echoed around them, a stark contrast to the knot tightening in Clara's stomach. She had overheard whispers about Tommy, the rival sculptor whose jealousy simmered just beneath the surface. Clara's heart raced as she spotted him across the square, his tousled dark hair framing a face etched with resentment. Tommy's piercing blue eyes locked onto Clara, and she felt the heat of his gaze like a brand. We should check out the sculptures over there, Finn suggested, oblivious to the tension that crackled in the air. Clara nodded, her resolve hardening. She would not let Tommy's jealousy dictate her experience of the festival. As they approached a cluster of sculptures, Clara's fingers brushed against the cool surface of an intricately carved piece depicting a pair of intertwined lovers, their expressions frozen in a moment of joy. Each sculpture tells a story, you know? A voice chimed in, pulling Clara from her reverie. It was Evelyn, the town elder, her silver hair glinting like the ice around them. These pieces hold fragments of our history, our joys and sorrows. They are not just art. They are the very essence of our community. Clara felt a flicker of hope ignite within her. Perhaps these sculptures could guide her, help her navigate the labyrinth of her insecurities. But just as she began to feel a sense of belonging, Tommy's voice sliced through the air, dripping with disdain. What do you know about art, Clara? You're just living in your mother's shadow. The words stung, a bitter reminder of her fears. Clara's heart raced, and she felt Finn's reassuring presence beside her, grounding her. I know enough to stand up for myself, Clara replied, her voice steadier than she felt. The tension between them crackled like the ice underfoot, and Clara realized that this confrontation was not just about Tommy. It was about her own journey of self-discovery.